Hey, what's up everyone? I'm back. I had to take a little break to remove my motherboard from my old computer case. Had to take off the cooler and all that. So now I'm ready to install the EK Supremacy water block. So the first thing I've got to do for that is put on the back plate. So I've got three back three parts here and it says for me for LGA 115X remove the inner core and use the outer part only. So that looks like it's right here. I'm going to take this out. Yep. Like so. Okay. Okay. And being more careful this time. Oh shit. It's sliding again. And okay, just going to drop it down. Shit, that sucks. That didn't work either. Oh my god. Okay, got it this time. I'm gonna use two hands to set it down. Okay, almost got it. Don't want it to slip at the last second. Oh my god, I think I got it. So I am not even sure if I did get one of the screws even lined up close enough, but I think I might have. I think this top left one, I might be able to get it. So I've got this screw that came, the bag, and I've got a washer at the end of it. Oh, and you can see that I cut myself earlier. That makes it official. Every new... ah. Uh, build you make has to have a few drops of blood put into it at least so got that out of the way and now I am going to try to put this in place and I'm not sure if that's tightening I don't yeah that doesn't appear to be tightening so <sighs> I'm going to try and stand it up. Okay, so if I stand it up now, looks like this I can get this top left or this top right one lined up. So I'm going to get that screw. Yeah, this one is going in now. So that's lightly in. Now I'm going to turn it around and try to line up this bottom left one. Actually, this might be totally fail, I think, because it's just flopping around and it's not going into place like it's supposed to. Oh, actually, no, I think I got it. Actually, I think I got it. Not fail, I take that back. Yeah, not fail. I got it lined up. I got it. I got the, uh, where is my screw now? Where is my thumb screw? Okay, here it is. I got my screw. Oh, I got my washer on my screw. And it's going into the bottom left. You screw it in like an X, as most people should know by now. Got the washer on this one as well. And, oh god, not so good, not so easy with a band-aid on my thumb. Come on, let's go, you can do this. Okay, it's sort of, it's going to go in, I think. Come on, I can do this. Or not. Well, it's okay because I need to get this bottom one lined up. It's not good. 
Okay, getting the bottom one lined up now. There we go. It was a problem with the rubber gasket not being in place. So now that I've got everything lined up, I'm going to put in the top left one. And then the last washer goes down in the bottom right. Come on, you can do it. I know you're there. I know it's there. There we go. Okay, the last one is in. I'm going to check them all for tightness. Yep. Alright, we're good. I think we're about ready to drop on the CPU block. Now I'm going to put on just a little bit of this thermal paste that came with the EK Supremacy. And come on, let's go. You can push a little. Come on now, let's go. I'm pushing. A little bit, that's all I want. And I think, yeah, I think that's good. on now. Okay, that should be plenty. Yep. So, I'm going to spread that around. For spreading around, I'm just going to be using the old finger and plastic wrap method. So, we're going to go ahead in there. All right. That's no good. I'm gonna use a different method, I think. I'm gonna need more of the glue. I think I a lot of it just ended up getting wiped off on the glad wrap. So that was my first time trying the glad wrap method and probably my last. Okay, that's plenty, yeah, that's, come on now, get that last bit off, yeah, okay, there's just a little bit more I want to get off, okay, now we're going to wipe this around, should be much Oh yeah, this is much better. I don't know what it is about the glad wrap method. I thought that always worked so well, but I that was terrible for me. That was a terrible experience. And this looks pretty good, but I'm just gonna get this edge over here, smoothed out. Okay. All right, that's good. Okay, so now I'm ready to drop my water block onto, um, yeah, into place. So as you can see, this uh, this port right here is the intake, the one that's closer to the middle. And this one is the outtake, the one that's closer to the outside. So it's important not to mix those up. And I'm going to put it down this way because I have the drive bay reservoir and the pump, or my radiator is below the drive bay reservoir. So it's going to go in from the reservoir and the pump and then down into the radiator. So now I've got to put springs on each corner, get a spring down there, spring down there, and a spring there, and one more spring right there.
tighten this side down just a little bit, not all the way yet, because we got to do it in the X method. I think I might have already tightened that a little bit too much. So now I'm going to push down and tighten the other side. Yeah, not all the way yet. We're going to tighten it down all the way once we get all four of them on. Okay, and this, this last one we can tighten down all the way. and across again. Alright, so I am very happy with the way that looks. And now just gotta put some compression fittings on. Okay, so for fittings, I'm gonna be using these compression fittings, these 90 degree angle compression fittings. So you just screw them in think like this. And they sh yeah, they rotate. So you got to hold the base, screw them in by the base. All right, that's good. And yeah, so that should be able to clear my ram just barely the tube. So now we're going to put in the next one. So those are going to be pointing basically like that. Going to my drive bay reservoir and going to my front mounted radiator.